It is often said, familiarity breeds contempt. The more we know each other, the more we neglect some human acts that give meaning to our life. Should we express our gratitude to someone who renders services to us? Or better still, should we request acknowledgement from someone who benefited from our good gesture? These are fundamental questions for us to answer Why we meditate on the first reading taken from the book of 2 Kings and the Gospel from Luke in this 28th Sunday of the Ordinary Time. In fact, the two figures who call for our attention, Nama and the leopard, who we are healed, are all foreigners that came back to town, respectively Elisha and Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, we have to appreciate the services that people render to us. This appreciation is not only material, also we are urged and encouraged to do good works out of love and charity. To say thank you is necessary as a sign of recognition of good works that are not merited. It does not change us but take us to a state of dignity for God lifts up the humble and scatters the proud. It is an act of faith, confidence, and humility towards He who is kind to us. For this reason, appreciation or thanksgiving has to be motivated by a true, sincere love that is out of liberty. Consequently, we have to avoid requesting for it so that we don't fall into the temptation of Right. Don't forget, we are unworthy servants and we have only done what was our duty. All glory has to be given to God. We are channels of God's graces to others so that they also may obtain the salvation in Christ Jesus. In the same way, Jesus in the gospel threw these words to the leopards. Rise up and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Bring to light the heart of the latter who sees himself reintegrated into the society that rejected him because of his state. It is a great joy that obliges him to look for Jesus. Our encounter with God and his words must provoke in us a greater joy that strengthens and moves us to confess the living God who re-establishes us in the state of dignity of the children of God. We need therefore to adopt the attitude of welcome and respect towards our brothers, the migrants, and foreigners. Remember it is the Samaritan who came back to thank Jesus and it brings us closer to one another. It is a time of grace. Let us not be indifferent to it. Let us always thank God, our Creator and Healer, who gives us new life as well as our brothers and sisters who are the channel of God's graces to us. I wish you a happy Sunday.